welcome back here we are with uh, the third step the step three will be uh, let's say configuration configuration of routing uh, protocol protocol and test the tests test the um, and and test the reachability the reachability between between lines all right so this is the step three so what i will do is from here i'm going to configure a static route which will point to this network and from this let l3 which is also router i will also point the route which will come to the site but first of all of the l3 for the l3 to be as a router you need to enable the routing features how do you enable the routing features by typing ip routing so now it is going to be as a router and i'll also do the same thing over here go to global and then ip routing yeah so now this is my layer three switches and i'll operate as routers so the first thing that i will do is i have to configure the routing protocol in this case we are going to use a static routing protocol let me add it our uh, routing protocol oh okay let me do this routing protocol i will use static okay static so static is the um, yeah so static i'm going to use static yeah so let's start start with the first one static routes ip route the destination network address which is 192.168.10.10.0 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the next hope ip address the next hope ip address is the ip address of this interface which is the first zero uh, one four which is twenty zero zero two so this is 10 of course uh it's is is 20 uh, 20 the zero zero dot two yeah so and you should also be saving i can use do right i've explained when do you use the do right right is also used for you know copying from the ram to the end ram and the do because the right is supposed to be performed in the privilege mode and when you run it in a different mode than the privilege you need to proceed the command with do that's why i've written do right so i've saved move to the second router i'll do the same thing ip uh, have IP routes, IP routes, the destination is 192.168.5.0 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the next hope IP address is 20.0.0.1 press enter and then I also save my configuration. It means I have the configuration done on the both side. Okay, so the LAN two I've not configured the the LAN two I've not configured the end devices yet. I have to go and assign IP addresses to the end devices. Yeah, so one and two dot one six eight dot ten dot dot two because dot one has already been used as a gateway 192.168.10.1 i'll copy it so that i'll just uh, okay okay and then move to the second one do the same thing i'll take the three that's one is a gateway then move to this device uh yeah so i'll take dot four because that one is the gateway, the first I, uh, end device has taken dot two, the second dot three, this is dot four, and then the gateway. So now I have 
I've configured everything. Okay, if everything is done, wow, the communication is supposed to what to go through. So I will be in this device. Okay, ping the local first. The local device is before I'll try pinging the outside. So I'll ping any of the local IP. Let's say ping 192.168.10.3. See if it will work. Yeah, the ping within the local is successful. Then let me ping the gateway, which is dot one, if it will work. The gateway two is able to um to respond. Then I'll try pinging the other device. Okay, I'll also test the other side. Here too, I will test any of the device uh, within the no, LAN ping 192.168.5.3. It's also responding. That's great. I will ping the gateway as well, see if it will respond. The gateway is also responding. So now let me ping a device on a different LAN, see how it is done. Ping 192.168.10.2. See, let's wait for sometimes. Let's wait for sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The ping is going through. Yes, ping is successful. I can just record the command C. Yeah, the ping is successful. Okay, let me change the device ping dot three. This one too. Ping is successful. Yeah, this one to the ping is successful, it's going through. So uh, what we should do next is let's go and check our routing table because it's always good to check the routing table, see how it is. You know, we exit and type show IP route. This is our routing table. So we have the route pointing to network 192.10.0 via 2002 which is the next hope ip address which is this interface okay so from this one we should also uh, check uh, show ip routes we also have what a static route which is pointing to the other network via 2001 which is the next hope or uh, ip address okay so you can see this your well, layer three switches are now operating as a router and switches as well. You can also check the MAC address table and see if it has been populated. So show MAC address, uh, MAC, uh, MAC address, let's do this, MAC address table here. Yeah. You can see this are what the devices which have communicated so far. I'll also come and check the MAC address on the other side. Oh, I was on this side, okay. I also show MAC address, MAC address table. I also have what the communication, which has been what, I mean, the MAC address has been populated with the MAC addresses of the devices and then the ports, their port numbers. Yeah, so actually this is how you configure LAN and WAN using an, an L3 switches. You need to enable the routing feature. You need to make sure the interfaces are not in a switch port so that they are they so that they can you know receive the IP addresses. If you don't remove the switch the switch ports um, mode from the interfaces, the L3 interfaces will still not be able to uh, you know to receive an IP address. It means you won't be able to assign an IP address to the interfaces. So you need to you know remove the uh, switch ports by typing no switch ports and then assign the IP address. So you configure the same way you configure the routers interface. So in this playlist, this is what um, we wanted to share with you guys. If you found the playlist informative, uh, like the video, you know, give it give, give it a thumbs up. It helps the video. It's it's you know it also helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel if it is not done and then share to the maximum. Thanks for having you. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.